वेलकम माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर रोशनी योर ओ बी जी मैंटर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिसेंट नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन लेट एस सी हाउ टू गेट टू द आंसर एंड वॉट वी हैव टू लर्न फ्रॉम ईच क्वेश्चन स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल गेम फॉर रेगुलर विजिट दैट इज अ रेगुलर ए एन सी शी डिलीवर टू ट्वेंस फोर ईयर्स एगो कैलकुलेट हर ग्रेविडा एंड पैरा सो वॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई ऑब्सटेटिक स्कोर ऑब्सटेटिक स्कोर इज द ग्रेविडा पैरा लिविंग एबॉर्शन एंड डेथ दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू टेल अबाउट द पेशेंट वॉट इज ग्रेविडा ग्रेविडा इज टोटल प्रेगनेंसीज इंक्लूडिंग द प्रेजेंट प्रेगनेंसी टोटल नंबर ऑफ अ टाइम अ लेडी इज प्रेगनेंट इंक्लूडिंग द प्रेजेंट प्रेगनेंसी वॉट एवर इज द आउटकम बीट एन एक्टोपिक एबॉर्शन मिड ट्राइमिस्टर मिसकैरिज और अ प्री टर्म लेबर अ डिलीवरी वॉट एवर इज द आउटकम इट इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसीज इंक्लूडिंग द प्रेजेंट प्रेगनेंसी एंड रिमेंबर ग्रेविडा इज यूज टर्म फॉर अ प्रेगनेंट लेडी ओनली इफ समी इज नॉट प्रेगनेंट यू रिमूव दिस ग्रेविडा एंड जस्ट टेल द पैरा एंड लिविंग एन अबॉर्शन ओके सो ग्रेविडा इज यूज फॉर अ प्रेगनेंट लेडी इट सेज टोटल नंबर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसीज इंक्लूडिंग द प्रेजेंट प्रेगनेंसी एग्जाम्पल इफ अ लेडी इज प्रेगनेंट फॉर फाइव टाइम्स शी इज ग्रेविडा फाइव वॉट एवर इज द आउटकम इफ शी वॉज प्रेगनेंट थ्राइज बिफोर एंड नाउ शी इज प्रेगनेंट अगेन दैट मीन्स शी इज ग्रेविडा फोर लाइक दैट ओके सो वॉट इज पैरा पैरा इज टोटल नंबर ऑफ डिलीवरीज वॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई डिलीवरी विच एवर इज क्रॉस द पीरियड ऑफ जस्टेशन टू से दैट द पीटस इज वायबल एंड शी इज डिलीवर्ड द फीटस not that she has just crossed the period of viability and she is pregnant now no whatever is delivery has happened which has crossed the period of viability that is para so total number of deliveries which has crossed the period of viability then you say it as para if somebody is deliver she is pregnant twice and first time it was a delivery at 20 weeks then it comes under abortion isn't it so 20 weeks is not crossed the period of viability if she is pregnant before and she is delivered at 32 weeks then it comes under para because 32 weeks is cross the period of viability living if the child post delivery is doing good then you consider as living if not it is dead okay so what is the gravida score in this patient and remember she has delivered twins that means she has delivered once only but she has delivered a two kids that makes her para one living two understood so her obstetric score will be gravida 2 para 1 living 2 so here you can see even if it is twins multiple pregnancy triplets whatever it is if she she will deliver only once but in that there will be two babies so that is how a twins or a triplets will be depicted if it is triplets it is para 1 living 3 like that okay let us take an example now a 26 year old lady comes to you she is uh, had one miscarriage 26 years she is pregnant now okay pregnant and she had one miscarriage and one delivery at 32 weeks and one delivery at 40 weeks what is her obstetric score so she is pregnant now one miscarriage one a uh, preterm delivery one term delivery so she is gravida 4 so this is a miscarriage comes under abortion these two are cause the period of viability so these two will come under De para so para to living to abortion one gravida four para to living to abortion one becomes her obstetric score. Let us see what is it in this case. It is gravida two para one. She is now pregnant with one delivery and living two. This is her obstetric score. So the correct answer is answer B. Going ahead with the next question. A primary gravida delivered a baby girl. She is a known case of bronchial asthma. Well, there is a profuse bleeding after delivery that is she has ended up in eph postpartum hemorrhage which of the following drugs should be not used so what are the common drugs that you know for medical management of eph eutrotonics first is oxytocin second is methargin then is carboprost then is mesoprostol last is tranexa or tranexamic acid okay so these are the common medications that you know so what are the firstly oxytocin what is the dose 10 to 40 international units in 1 liter of crystalloid for saline treatment in case of pph it is iv only 
if it is a preventive measure then you can give im for like in amtsl active management of third stage of liver im you can give 10 units this is a prevention but as a treatment first line is iv only it is a continuous iv dosage side effects are nausea water intoxication hyponatremia okay contraindicated in iv bolus iv bolus is contraindication always you should dilute in crystalloid and then only you should give iv bolus should never be given this is the contraindication this is the most commonly used drug then comes your methergin it is dose of 0.2 mg can be given up to 5 times every 20 minutes if the bleeding does not stop then treatment first line for treatment it is im or iv second line means it is as a prevention it is given every 2 to 3 hours nausea and vomiting and hypertension is the complication it can end up in having nausea vomiting and patient can have reverse hypertension that is why it should avoid it contraindicated in hypertensive and preeclampsia remember methergin is contraindicated in hypertension and preeclampsia this is very important must know okay this is a must know question then next comes prostaglandin f2 alpha that is your carboprost carboprost is dose of 250 microgram or 20.25 milligram 250 microgram carboprost is given as a im dose this remember the root is only im carboprost is never given iv okay it is only im root and it is second line treatment is you can give intrauterine intrauterine musculature also you can give but for routinely we give an im deltoid or buttocks it can be given every 15 minutes to 90 minutes maximum dose of eight doses can be given nausea vomiting diarrhea it causes bronchovascular constriction that is why it is contraindicated in bronchial asthma as in our case it is bronchial asthma patient so carboprost is contraindicated active cardiac renal and hepatic disease also it is contraindicated remember carboprost should not be given mesoprostol is one drug which has no contraindication and it can be given sublingual or per rectal starts from 600 microgram to 1200 you can give okay single dose fever and tachycardia are the complications tranexamic acid is your antifibrinolytic agents okay so it uh, prevents from clots from breaking down 1 gram iv in 10 ml dilution can be given every 30 minutes avoid in patients with venous thromboembolism if somebody has vt you can avoid but it is not contraindicated so let us see our options carboprost yes carboprost is contraindicated which should not be given is asked so carboprost should not be given and these are the not correct answers going ahead with the next question in a cancer cervix neoadjuvant therapy given along with yes what do you understand by neoadjuvant neoadjuvant means the tumor has grown so vast that you cannot operate on her now okay so what you have to do you have to give her chemotherapy prior followed by surgery and then followed by chemo radiation this is called neoadjuvant therapy first you will give her chemotherapy which will reduce the size of the tumor and make it more easy to do the surgery and then you will operate on her give her operate on her followed by chemo and radiotherapy this is called as neoadjuvant therapy this cycle so which all cancers you can give ovarian cancers and malignant high risk for surgery if somebody is having high risk for surgery then you can give chemo then once the risk is settled you can do the surgeries and you can give in comorbid patients if there are so many comorbids that you cannot do the surgery now then you can do and if you predict that in such cases the in this case that entire debulking of the tumor cannot happen if somebody he predicts that it is very huge if i operate it now it will be remaining the malignant tissues will remain inside then you can give chemo reduce the size and then do the surgery okay this is where it is done and what is the benefit of it it has better result compared to direct surgery okay in this has benefit of better results okay the treatment has more effective lifespan is increased by doing this okay that is why this has a better result that is why you should always use in a huge tumors which has high risk factors and comorbid conditions better to give chemo cure a little and then do surgery followed by chemo radiation so what is the answer neoadjuvant therapy is along with surgery no 
along with radiotherapy after radical surgery no before radical surgery you will give a chemotherapy that is called as neoadjuvant therapy going ahead with answer is d going ahead in the next question a 24 year female presents with 36 weeks 6 days gestation almost term on examination fetus was transverse lie okay it is this is the uterus if it is perpendicular to the maternal spine if the fetal spine is perpendicular to the maternal spine then it is called as transverse lie okay if it is then the same lie then it is called longitudinal lie so here the fetus is in transverse lie lichen is adequate the fluid is adequate placenta is normal that is pando anterior weight of the baby is 2.8 kg what is the next management the fetus is also in good average size weight not a very heavy baby it is a average baby with placenta normally situated transverse lie what do you want to do you want, do not want to do cesarean section for everybody isn't it so what best you want to do you can do is external cephalic version ecv external cephalic version that means the cephalic head is somewhere else in the cavity you want to bring down the head to lower pole when wherever the head is you want to bring it down to the lower pole that is called as external cephalic version so it can be done either in cases of breach if breach is down you push the breach up and pull the head down in case of breach or in case of transverse lie it is much easier in transverse lie because half the rotation is already completed only half the rotation has to be done isn't it so it is much easier in transverse lie the indications are in breach or in transverse lie you can do external cephalic version in which gestation period of gestation you have to do at around 36 weeks in primary gravida and 37 weeks in multi gravida okay you can do at 36 weeks and 37 weeks and make sure it doesn't have any other comorbidities like placenta previa since it is mentioned in our case that there is no placenta previa you can do a vaginal delivery so it is better to do external cephalic version in this case emergency cesarean section is not indicated external cephalic version is indicated and vacuum delivery can you put vacuum for a non cephalic presentation for breach only you cannot put a vacuum how can you put for a shoulder presentation vacuum so this also directly says no internal podalic version what do you understand by internal podalic version now as we showed from externally we were moving the baby inside whatever position we wanted now if the same fetus is having fully dilated cervix and head is upstairs and breech is downstairs then you push internal podalic version what do you understand by internal podalic version till now we were talking about external cephalic version that is from abdomen how to get the position that is favoring for us internal podalic means for example fetus is in a transverse lie you just hold the feet of the fetus put the hand in the pelvic uterine cavity hold the feet of the uterus and pull the buttocks down podalic version it is not cephalic it is podalic pull the buttocks down buttocks are pulled down isn't it so then delivery of the fetus is done by breech mechanism this is called as internal podalic version in modern obstetrics the only place that you can do internal podalic version is for the second twin you have delivered the first twin vaginally and then now it is transverse lie in the second twin then you can hold the fetus down and do the internal podalic version and bring down the fetus down by breech that is the only indication in modern obstetrics second twin which is in transverse lie okay this is the only indication so here our management is external cephalic version so this ends with your neat pg 2023 questions i hope you understood the topic and related and how to get to the answer thank you